I could, I could go, I could eat, I could order a pizza or something like that, I'm sure. At some stage in the game I'll or end up ordering a pizza, but, um, I'd much just rather prefer to just do it exactly what I'm doing right now. Chill out. See how it works, you know, it's not the best, it, it's not, I, ideally it's not like the, the best thing that I would do, have video wise, you know, production values, but I'm really, I'm, I, I have a, a very firm, you know, it's really weird to be the weirdest guy on the bus, especially when you're not a badass, when you don't have the balls to tuck to back it up, because I've already seen guys today that they just look like jail guys, you know, there are plenty of them out there. Mark Pettinger is here to take us inside that process, tell us what they're learning. He's a sports person for OLCC and the Recreational Pop Program. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, let's talk about the approach. You guys have a very specific approach when it comes to education. Right? Really, we're trying to focus on education and compliance as yeah. opposed to enforcement. And that's an approach we're on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the alcohol side as well. The idea is to help people understand what the regulatory process is all about, help them comply, and sure, we've got some enforcement tools in our toolbox, but we really want to get them into the regulated system. So let's talk, let's get them in. And, and while you and I are talking to folks, I said, what's the hardest thing about this? And, and it really is the natural, right? It's the news and, and going forward, right? When you think about it, you know, uh, persons of our age, sure. I remember when the telephone industry was yeah. deregulated, yeah. Uh, transportation, trucking, airlines. But when was the last time we regulated the industry from the ground up? Yeah. And yeah. it's new to us, it's new to them. Uh, the industry's got the know-how about growing their own, yeah. processing it, and selling it. Yeah. We've got the know-how about how to regulate an industry in terms of alcohol already. But making that work for the marijuana industry yeah. is a completely different task and twists and turns. Yeah. Every, every time. Going, okay, uh, speaking of those twists and turns, you guys are de dealing with growers right now. How are you working with them currently and why is that really the focus right now? Well, we told people we're going to focus on licensing based on the supply chain. Sure. You can't have anything right. in the it is, a, it is cool to right? so, uh, catch the vibe the around here right now because they've got a season ago in general, the indoor growth, they're going to get a couple people don't like so we're focusing on the upper growth, in particular those places in the state that are most... People so don't, like, get this... Uh, ...with the chair um, of the commission, the executive director, and some of the other management staff to take a look at they, some of the... You know, they, you don't get that paranoid vibe with the weed, you know, it's a totally different thing. So... ...having cameras and backup video of the growth site, they can go up to the cloud. Well, some of these places are in such remote locations, they have not have power, they run it. So how do we uh, make sure that they're in the regulated system and can comply but given the circumstances of the, of the way they're going to play that. Right. So we took a look, we're going to make some tweaks to some of the rules yeah. uh, to accommodate for those folks. Well, federal has, a, has got a lot more, but as far as regulation as we transition into this, the, 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 what is it, the seed to sale traffic, right, is, is very important in this. The whole aspect of the regulated system is making sure that product isn't diverted from the illegal market right. or to the illegal market uh, or comes in from the illegal market. The seed to sale, which is also known as the cannabis tracking system, yeah. tracks from the, you know, when, it, uh, when a plant is uh, mature all the way to the retail